hey guys welcome back to my channel today is the day i decided to try my own homemade pie crust so we did a chicken pot pie the reason i did this was because i had um three pie crusts left over my sister originally asked me to make um an apple pie and three pumpkin pies for christmas and i had just bought i think it was three pie crusts pre-packaged and that comes with six pie crust i would need two for the apple pie but since she told me she didn't need me to bring an apple pie because she had gotten one that um i had three pie crust left over i still have one so i thought i want to do a chicken pot pie so i made a homemade pie crust my first time ever and it is a little flowery um but let me tell you we did a butter wash we didn't have an egg wash we didn't have egg to do an egg wash so we did the butter on top of it because i googled what else i could do and they said i could do butter and so we did butter and that pie crust i'll never ever ever go back to doing store pie crust again excuse me um i never knew that uh homemade pie crust tasted that good like it was very much noticeable my whole family ate the homemade pie crust that one was gone in literally no time at all and the pie the store-bought some had to get tossed like i was very surprised that they did that here in this step you see me i am freezing carrots because i had some of these um baby carrots left over or whatever you call them pre-packaged carrots that i wanted to just use up and uh, don't do that step just if that's what you have add it like that because it was a pain in the butt trying to get off and just I thought I had peas so I actually used frozen um frozen corn to cover up for the peas but this rest of my son my youngest son if you guys have been watching my channel know that he is my biggest critic and he loved this. He said it was hands down the best recipe I've ever made in my whole entire life. I just, I don't agree, but I accept the compliment because uh, this recipe, yes, it was delicious and it was all made from scratch. It would have been better if I had my own chicken broth. We'll get there. We will get there. But this recipe was so good it just wasn't like my favorite thing I've ever cooked but I'm happy that he thought so that made my mama heart happy because he is the hardest one to please out of my eaters and here you will see me using a Worcestershire sauce bottle because my rolling pin was missing and you know what I waited so long to find my um what was that my metal sifter my strainer my colander whatever you want to call it um, I found it, but I waited months and months to find it. Like it took a long time to find it. I didn't wait. I went out and bought another rolling pin. I knew I wanted to do some cookies. Um, so that's why I just got the rolling pin. And plus I would love to eventually get a food processor, um, to do pie crust. It would make maybe be a lot easier and might help me, but I'm going to do them a couple more times by hand. I want to know that I can do something. And then here I am full of flour. I guess I have a hard, I must wipe my hands on my back or must have did something. And I did not add, the. my Dutch oven's too small. I need a new one, you guys. I need a bigger one. I need to upgrade. Because of the fact, um, like, I couldn't add all my stuff in it every single time whenever I do a recipe for the Dutch oven. It's just too small, and I'm just, maybe I'm adding too much, but I'm not doubling the recipe. This recipe I did double, but... I did not double all my other recipes, so I'm just a little unsure of why my Dutch oven doesn't work the best sometimes. I shouldn't say that works great, but you know what I mean. It's just not big enough. And I even do a comparison for you guys of the store-bought and the homemade, and that would be fun to see if you guys can guess which is which. I won't say my kids even got it wrong. I'm assuming because the homemade pie crust is a little bit more rustic looking and mine's a little rough looking as this is my first ever pie crust I ever did from scratch so you know what I'm just giving it to me and saying I win because I did it by scratch and you know what it's the only one that got ate in all of and here they both are in all their glory and I'm pretty sure the flowers a dead giveaway of a what one is which one but whatever my heart was happy doing this I loved it and there they are all done 
Oh my gosh, that homemade pie crust is just so delicious. I wish we had some right now because I would eat it all again. That's just watching these back make me hungry. You guys, I'm back in front of the camera. Um, I was just reading my mom's text. had a heck of a time my freaking pressure cranners broke still um i didn't order the piece i don't know if that's what i need i was sick i haven't filmed in forever like literally today is tuesday and the i was sick on sunday so i did not pick up a camera for oh seven eight nine seven eight nine ten days ten days i haven't filmed or anything Oh, let me try a bite of this. Mmm. -hmm. I had to use corn. I didn't have peas. And I freezing my carrots. Don't do that. I was so dumb. I thought because it called for frozen um, peas to freeze my carrots. Okay. Peace to the good boys. So we gotta give them peace. I will say, the recipe calls for four, two cups of chicken shredded, um, cooked. It didn't say how to cook it. So this morning, what I did was I threw four because I doubled the recipe. I threw four chicken breasts in the slow cooker, and I seasoned it with salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder, and then I put three tablespoons of butter on top of that. Um, when I did shred it, it did not seem to be like the two, it was too watery to begin with. But then when I shredded it up, it was not too watery at all. And I, of course, went for the homemade crust. And I should just try that by itself right now. Let me try this. It definitely tastes so much better. It was a lot. And I lost my rolling pin. My freaking kids. I Good luck. I found that if you guys remember back a couple videos ago or over the very beginning, I had lost my sifter, my metal strainer. Well, now I found it. And um, that's my husband, so I may have to jump off. But now I found it and I have it in the dishwasher, found it in the garage. Can't find my rolling pin. I had to use the Worcestershire sauce bottle. So use it if you have to use it, okay, guys? Use whatever you have to. And you, I didn't have a food processor for my um, pie crust, and I was able to do it. So this lighting's rough. I'm going to go and finish my food. I'll see you guys when I cook again. Bye. And on this night, I wanted to do homemade garlic knots. So I made this recipe, and it was a very, very good um, the, I'll get back to that, but I want to show you guys. Watch. You're going to see my yeast explode. I thought that was so cool, so I just felt like I had to show you guys. The little plumes popping up. I just, you hear my dog snoring? He's laying on my lap while I'm doing this voiceover. So I also did this night. I did um, a kind of a spaghetti. It was a skinny spatula. Um, she had Italian and peppers. So good. Tell me why my kids are just, they didn't dig this recipe. They ate the garlic knots. Every, but I thought while I was doing this, I should have filmed both, but I only filmed the garlic knots. It's okay, beast. Uh, he's my co-talker today. He missed me. I was at work. But um, I have only filmed the garlic knots, and let me tell you, I should have filmed both because that pepper and sausage recipe was one of my favorites. And this is my first time ever needing anything. So I learned because I never needed. So these are all things I'm having to teach myself. Um, and I would say I actually did a good job. I Maybe not when I first started out. You can see me making a big mess with my fingers. But I just kept thinking, just add more flour. Just add more flour. And it will eventually not be so tacky because the recipe calls for st sticky, not sticky. Okay, maybe I said that wrong. It's supposed to be tacky, but not sticky. And every time I was looking for recipes online to make homemade garlic knots, they were all like um, Pillsbury dough, to take the Pillsbury dough and do it. But that's not what I had on hand. I have flour. I have ingredients. I don't have cans of Pillsbury dough on hand. So I had to keep searching until I found this recipe. And it was really hard to tie them in a knot. 
But I would definitely do these garlic knots again. And I can see Teddy in the background probably thinking, why is my mom in there doing this for that long? But yeah, this was a good arm workout. I threw on some music today when we were in there. Um, I was just jamming out because I figured I was going to be in there for a while doing the homemade dough and doing the peppers and the um, pepper and Italian sausage bake. Well, it wasn't a bake. It was such a strange recipe, but it was so good. They told me to put chicken stock in it. It was just really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the freshness of the peppers. And that is why my kids did not like it. Well, my youngest didn't like it because there was peppers in it. Gosh, I enjoy so much. And, you know, I thought for sure he'd at least try it. But he's a picky guy. So this definitely, we froze the leftovers because it makes a lot. But it was so good. The garlic knots, of course, were gone in one day. Those garlic knots. I, you know what I'm really interested? So I was thinking because when I am doing like... Instead of, I got to start small. So when we need bread, I should just make bread. When we need hamburger buns, I should just make them. And that way I figure it will get me closer to buy, being more self-sufficient instead of sufficient on the grocery store, just smaller things like that. So that's what I'm going to actually just try to do. So I'm not going to buy bread again from the grocery store is my own little challenge for myself. And I just want to see how much I can make and one of my sons told me he wants to be on a weight loss journey and so I need to I'm the controller of the cook so he needs to I need to cook a little bit more healthier and not so high calorie which I think is easy and I can do that for him you guys it's so hot in my kitchen right now this is what I should have filmed not the garlic knots this was a very good recipe I've been eating it I should link it down below just so you guys can try it if I remember I will I'll try by this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me try a garlic knot. They're not as garlicky, I already know, <clears throat> as I'd like. Still, still good though. Love it. Thank you guys for watching this recipe. See you next time I cook. Now this recipe... I know I try to follow these recipes to the T when I film these for you guys because when I link them then you won't know like that what I did was different for it to taste good but I did use two tomatoes instead mm -hmm. of one tomato. If I could have I would have, if I knew this, I would have cooked the ground beef in a different tin, like not in with my food, well, not in with my veggies, because I just don't think that eating leftover hamburger juice is that appetizing, but this meal turned out so good. I did add a lot of salt and a lot of chili powder to get it to my tasting standards. I think that um, the chili powder definitely helped. This one called for the beef stock. Do you see the juice in there? Like you don't know what the juice is from. Is I try to let it cook down as much as I could. But I don't know if it was from the tomatoes. They're very juicy. I don't know if it was from the, um, what is that? The hamburger is what I thought. And then it just made me unhappy. But it was definitely, it's still good. It's very delicious. I did not do a taste test for this on camera. But I did do a slow-mo of what it looks like when it's out. And I made a mistake of putting my lid back on because I wasn't hungry at this moment. I should have never done that. I had to add a lot more beef stock because the rice sucks up all the moisture. This is a very difficult soup, I would say. I would love to come back and remake it with maybe a different recipe, like a Culver's copycat. Our local Culver's has stuffed pepper green soup, and it's delicious. That's what I was trying to emulate here, but I kind of failed. And now we're moving on to this recipe. This recipe, we've been going through like just some family, and I wouldn't say family, I would say some personal things. And I wanted to make a comfort dish for my husband because it would just bring happiness to his soul, I felt like. So on this night, I made his grand, it's not his grandma's recipe. I did ask his uncle for his grandma's recipe, but I did find a chicken, Hungarian chicken paprikash recipe. And that is the recipe that I made for him and he says it tasted delicious. I ended up adding about eight more tablespoons of paprika. Um, 
with this recipe, I will say it is more of a, I'm not going to, a dull, because I don't want to say a bland taste. It's a dull tasting because the paprika, and I did not add anything else besides paprika and salt because of the fact that it's just like, that's the recipe. Um, but it is so good. I want to remake this and I definitely want to do her goulash. I have to wait for the recipes from her, from her son, my husband's uncle, to give me the recipes for the chicken paprika, or sorry, excuse me, the Hungarian goulash. Oh my gosh, I know that was so good. I think I only got one time with her Hungarian goulash before she passed. I know I had the chicken paprika a lot, and I want also the recipe for her chicken noodle soup. She used to make that every single time she knew my boys were coming over, and they were so little, and she would always make that, and my husband, this chicken paprika. So it is a very... I have an acquired taste to it now but i mean if you first make this i just want you to be prepared like mm -hmm. don't expect blast of flavor because mainly the only thing in there is chicken stock paprika salt and paprika salt chicken stock and chicken I th oh sour cream sorry guys i had a brain fart but it was so good all right, guys, I'm here in my living room to try a bite of the chicken paprika, Hungarian chicken paprika. It's so good. I've already had a bite. Mm -hmm. My husband is Hungarian, and his grandma would always make this, and I just found our sweet Hungarian pepper. So that's why I decided to make this because of just the memories. So I'm gonna enjoy my bowl of the Hungarian chicken paprika, and I'll see you guys next time, bye. And this recipe wasn't even planned. I had watched a video on YouTube from the needy homesteader. I love, love, love her. She has overcame so much adv adversity and just a heartbreaking situation. Um, while the needy homesteader had put out a recipe in the morning. I made my husband come smell the apples. I'm like, come smell how fresh these are. And we preserved them back in um, October. So um, she had put a recipe out about her dump cake. Her, and she had, I had all the ingredients. The only thing I had to go buy was the box mix. And I could have made my own. I was looking at the recipe, but then I seen that I needed baking powder and I had ran out. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to cook later today too. So let's just get the box mix and make it easier for me. This recipe is when I found out my son said he's on a weight loss journey because he's like, mom, you killed me with the cookies. Mom, you killed me with this dessert. I'm like, I'm sorry. And he goes, maybe just do one dessert once every two weeks. So I'm going to do that because obviously it will be best for all of us. I do want to do two types of more cookies. I want to do sugar cookies and I also want to do a German cookie. I want to surprise my mom with that for Christmas, but I'm not sure if she'll know it. Hey guys, so I'm jumping on really quick. I'm not going to do a taste test of this. I will let you know how it is tonight. We're going to have it for dessert. It smells phenomenal. What made me do this is I had seen the Needy Homesteaders video. And she did this. And I had just seen the video today. So I'm like, I want to try this. I have canned apples. And I want to dry it. And it's something new. So I'm going to cannot wait to report back. Maybe tonight. When it is cool, I'll take a bite. See you guys soon. Bye. Okay, you guys. I want to try this apple dump cake. Oh. So good. This actually, my apples taste a lot better in this than they did in the apple pie. I wanted to cook with my apples because I just wanted to make sure my canning is correct. My apples smelt fresh. My pops, my seals were amazing. I threw away the lids just to make sure. And I am very proud of this. I can't wait to can more apple pie filling next year. Now I do know though to use the quart jars and not the pints. 
These apples taste so good. All right, one more bite. And I will see you guys with, I think this is the last recipe I'm going to add. So you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys make this cake recipe. It is so good. Bye.